Hi, I'm Zeno, child of Hermes. I am a reporter for Olympus Live News, the only 24-hour network that brings news straight from the gods to you. I'm here with my cameraman and friend, Leonidas. Yo. And now Olympus will give you a behind-the-curtain peek at the adventures of Heracles, which should happen in a few weeks. We will talk to the monsters behind the events that will happen. First, we are going to interview the Nemean Lion. Hello? Anyone there? What do you want? I want to interview you about your upcoming part in the adventures of Heracles. Fine. How do you feel about being killed by Heracles? A little bummed, if you know what I mean. I mean, the Golden Hind and Severus only get carried around by the guy. All I ever did was take a few sheep and goats when I felt lazy. Farmers should be glad that I ate their livestock instead of them. Nobody has a sense of gratitude these days. And the way I have to die is cruel. I mean, beaten to death is pretty harsh. And then he skins me. Can somebody tell me how this works? The only way to cut my skin is to use my own claws. Unless they've already thought of that. Never mind. Well, I enjoyed talking to you, and I hope you have a good time in Hades. Whatever. Well, well, what have we here? I'm Zeno, child of Hermes, here to talk to you about your upcoming part in the adventures of Heracles. Ah, yes. Many monsters have sent me scrolls concerning that matter. You see, I am a very talented interior designer for monsters. Most of them don't believe it when they hire me. But when I'm finished, their humble lairs look marvelous. Are there any problems? With being a three-headed dog? Yes. As a matter of fact, there is. It's really hard to get a mate. I mean, how many male three-headed dogs do you meet on a regular basis? Right. None. Well, back to the subject at hand. <laughs> I think Lord Hades is a bit annoyed because he fears someone will try to steal some of the spirits of the dead. But I just told him to borrow Argus for a couple of weeks. It should be good to have a holiday, because I haven't had one in the last four hundred centuries. <laughs> Hearing tortured spirits screaming and wailing always puts a damper on the day. I feel good about frightening the king Heracles serves to death. Mm, I haven't frightened someone to death since Monster High School. It's just so satisfying to hear them scream and, and feel their little hearts stop beating. <laughs> well, it was nice talking to you, but our schedule was a bit tight here. We must cut it short. Oh, my pleasure. I hope the century will be kind to you. The same to you. Hello? Am I currently addressing the Stymphalian birds? Who else would it be? Yes, who else would it be? We are the only other living things in the forest besides you and your companion. We've eaten everything else, and you look quite tasty. Quite so. Shut up. There. What do you want, exactly? I would like to ask you about your upcoming part in the adventures of Heracles. Oh, yes. All these two want to talk about is food and why there isn't any more. They always seem to forget they ate it all. I personally think that this business is complete junk. Some days I think that Zeus pulls names out of a helmet to see who's going to suffer today. He knows my secret. He must be silenced. Well, that teaches you not to criticize the gods. Perch switch. <laughs> I am now Alpha, and I think you know the order from there. The last Alpha was way too overbearing. He was always bored with our conversations. It seems odd that Zeus should think we would be driven out of the forest by clashing symbols. <laughs> he must think we are stupid. I plan for us not to emerge from the forest. Fool, he thinks he can defy me. He shall pay. Well, that teaches you not to defy the gods. Perch switch. I plan to capture some birds and set them loose on Heracles. That way Zeus will get what he wants and we get to live. 
Alpha, this is Zeus. Your idea might work, but normal birds wouldn't be scary enough. Who cares if it's not scary enough? All I'm trying to do is save my neck. The scarier it is, the better the tale. Can't you just make some birds that are scarier than us? Why make something when I can use something I already have? By the Titan's farce, can't you do something? I hate whiners. Well, I guess that ends our interview. Hello? Could you tell me where I could find the Eraminthian boar? I would like to interview him. Thank the gods you ate him. Atreus was a horrible reporter. The network only kept him because he was King Eurystheus' brother. I apologize. I just thought I would be speaking to a boar. Why are you called a boar? How do you feel about what's going to happen in the adventures of Heracles? Do you have any hobbies? Thanks for the interview, and I hope you make it to a happy retirement. Epilogue. Olympus Live News apologizes for not having interviews with the Lernian Hydra, the Mayors of Diomedes, Strabo, the Guardian of the Apples of the Hesperides, and Hippolyta, because all of the above tried to eat and or kill Zeno and Leonidas. The boar is now happily in retirement because Heracles used his idea. He now makes a prosperous living producing yoga videos for giant insects. Leonidas has left our employment and now freelances for the boar shooting footage for his yoga videos. Cerebus is currently the proud mother of three three-headed pups. In the end, Zeus had to create some Symphalian birds without intelligence because the intelligent ones were giving him too much trouble. Zeno currently organizes the Miss Known World and Miss Monster contests, and has at least 10 scandals a year. There's a monster in my pants and